Hello, this is John Marling, Pulse Research. In this training session, we're going to go over the Pulse reporting and tracking feature. It's important because we want to make sure that you get credit for the use and results of your Pulse sales tools. There's three different ways to get credit for using and your success with the Pulse sales tools. One is on your home page, the accounts page, and the reporting page. But before I show you live on the demo site, when you make an engagement with a teaser or a flyer, you're sharing the information, the opportunity for that business to start the conversation. And you're wanting to get an appointment or the opportunity to present whatever special offering you might have. Let's show you how you get credit for using your Pulse, Teasers, Flyers, and recording your new sales in the program. So click and we'll go to the demo site. We're on the home page and on the bottom of your home page is a list of your most recent presentations. You'll note that the little door opener is the flyer and the conversation icon is the teaser. You can also once again access the teaser flyer. Let's go down here. We've created a, pres uh, created a teaser. We click here, and as you can see, you can delete it. You can mark it as past. They said, no, you didn't get the appointment. You can mark it that the teaser made a sale for you, but let's mark it as engaged, okay? When did you make the presentation? Okay, you click on the date, and you click set. It's as simple as that, okay? So now it's marked as presented. Now let's go back up to the reporting program. Click on reporting. Every presentation that you created will be also listed here. Once again, you mouse over, you click on the navigation, and like you saw a moment ago, you can mark it as past, sold, engaged, or you can delete the presentation. So let's this time, let's mark it as sold. So we click on mark it as sold, when, click on the date, okay. How much was the sale? Let's say it's $6,000. Okay, now what type of sale? New, renewal, or split? Let's say it was a sale that originally the contract was for $3,000. So we're renewing for $3,000, and because they saw the opportunity, they doubled their commitment. So $3,000 renewal, $3,000 in new business. We click on Set. Now we need to put in the date that we, that we presented it. So we click Yes, and we click on the date. So that's how to record a sale. Now the last thing I want to show you, oh look at that, you got 15 points. Pulse has got a great uh, point program, contest program in there. More about that later. Now let's click on accounts. You click on accounts. And by the way, every time you create a presentation, it automatically creates an account for you. If you want to do a new account, by the way, you just click on new account and fill in the form. You can search all your accounts here making it really fast and simple for you. Or you come over here and you click on Create. In this case, we want to record the sale. Okay, So we put in the sold date. Okay, Click on the date. This is a contract. Let's say yes. So it goes from, let's say, June 1st you know, to, and let's make it a three-month contract here, August 1st. What was the contract amount? Once again, 6000 and it's a split between new and renewal. Okay, so the renewal amount is three. The new amount is three for a total of six, okay? And this is a contract with a signed agreement. And you click on Save. So it's as simple and as fast as that. So that's an overview of your Pulse reporting and tracking program. We can assist in any way. It's support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at PulseResearch.com. Once again, thank you so much for the opportunity to assist and support you. We sure appreciate it.